What is keeping me from manifesting my true desires? Hey everybody, it's Chris Lemig here at Gateway to the Limitless. I'm an author, spiritual educator, and former Tibetan Buddhist monk. And I teach a program called Gateway to the Limitless. Uh, it's an extensive workshop where I teach you how to connect with your true self so you can discover your true desires and then learn how to live and manifest your true destiny. So this is a question that I get asked a lot and it's a question that I have explored for myself as well. Um, what is it that's keeping me from manifesting my, my true desires, my true wishes? So whether that's, you know, goal achievement or just kind of making things happen for yourself in your life, what is preventing us from doing that in a more, um, let's say, smooth way, right? With an obstacle-free kind of way. Well, I mean, there are all kinds of things uh, that, that could be at play here, but I think the number one thing that I have discovered that gets in our way is right here, right? Uh, our own thinking, our own belief systems, our own internal dialogue. And when I started to do this uh, kind of work, I started to work on myself first. So uh, that was kind of the motivator to get into this, this whole process of learning how to manifest what it is that I truly want uh, more effectively. And I was actually appalled to discover as I started to take a look in my own mind that I had still tons and tons of uh, negative thinking that I wasn't even aware of. It was just kind of running there like a script in the background. So these were things like, um, you know, worthiness related things or just simply like, I don't think I can do that or I don't know how to do that. So uh, that's gonna be hard or difficult or, you know, just thinking like, uh, you know, I just scarcity-based thinking, like I'm not going to get enough clients or I'm not going to get enough, uh, you know, response from this particular, you know, email or whatever piece of content I was putting out. These kinds of thoughts were just playing all the time. And I thought I was being actually a fairly, uh, you know, positive person. So what I started to do was when I started to notice this more, and this is what I'm going to suggest here for you to do to make a start at changing that is that I started to make a list, I started to make a list of all the negative thoughts that I noticed myself thinking. So I carried that list around with me. So whenever I was you know, going throughout my day, I would just whip out that list and say, like, oh, there's a negative thought. And I would write down what the belief was, what the thought was, whatever, the, whatever I was imagining. Uh, and then also noticing whatever feelings were coming up with that too. So that is the first step for starting to deal with this, uh, this issue surrounding our thinking, our beliefs, um, what we're imagining as being possible or not possible. So I recommend and I challenge you to do that. Start by creating a list of all of your negative thoughts, get them down on paper. And this is your first step towards recognizing the content of your mind. Once you recognize the content of your mind, once you recognize these negative thoughts coming up, now you've got, this is huge, because now you've got a fighting chance. Now you have some mindfulness and awareness of the negative thinking in your mind. Now at first that might feel like, oh crap, I've got all these negative thoughts, what am I gonna do? Well, there's another negative thought, right? So again, the thing is, like once you start noticing these things, now you are already halfway there, more than halfway there to being empowered to do something about them. Just noticing them in and of itself gives you the opportunity to stop them right there in their tracks and then replace them with something new, something better. So give that a try. Start making a list of all the negative thoughts, all the negative beliefs that come up whenever you think about achieving your goals or you know, doing uh, whatever it is that you want to do with your life, even though even the little things, and, and just start to notice that. Keep that list. And then we can talk about starting to replace those thoughts, you know, countering those thoughts with positive thoughts that are gonna help you to achieve your goals. Again, uh, this is Chris Lemmick here at Gateway to the Limitless. I teach a program called Gateway to the Limitless where I teach you how to get in touch with your true self, connect with your true desires, so you can begin to live and manifest your true destiny. Please like this video. Let me know how, what you think about this, uh, this exercise, how it works for you. And please subscribe to my channel and share this video with others. Take care and be well, my dear hearts and fellow spiritual travelers.
Be well.